What's up, guys? It's Lion from Sony Tamey and OTL. I am joined today by a couple of friends. We're going to talk about a little Black Ops. Uh, Lion, introduce yourself. Hey, guys. This is uh, Commander Yokum, a.k.a. Steven Yokum. You may have seen me on Xbox Live. I mostly play Call of Duty and whatnot. How's it going? <laughs> and we're joined by also a third person. Go ahead and tell me who you are. Tori, Yokum, or the Sly Fox on Call of Duty. So shy, so shy. Just remember it's the internet, just everyone is judging you constantly. There's nothing to really worry about. Okay, we're going to talk about Call of Duty. We're going to talk about Black Ops. It looks, frankly, um, a little futuristic and a little out of the ordinary. Um, I did not play the original Black Ops, so I can't say whether or not it was good. I did play Call of Duty 3. I wasn't highly impressed. But uh, as two players who played both Black Ops and Call of Duty, um, what what was your you, you saw the trailer the original launch trailer? Um, what was your first impressions? Honestly, you know, I I've been around for, uh, with Call of Duty since uh, I don't know Call of Duty Three on the PC. I was playing that online when I was in shit junior high. Yeah, I feel like an old man saying it now. I mean, it's only been like what six? Uh, no, but almost ten years now. Ten years playing Call of Duty, and when I when I saw Black Ops 2, I I figured it was just gonna. I was hoping to God, honestly, I was hoping to God it wouldn't be Black Ops 1 all over again. And, but uh, I saw watching watching Black Ops 2 trailer, I was actually a little blown away. I'm I'm glad Treyarch steered away from what they were originally going with, and. Uh, I, honestly, personally, I was waiting for a futuristic Call of Duty. I mean, I don't know about the two of you, but I was getting real tired of World, um, like World War II, and when they came out with Modern Warfare, I was just loving it. Hey, Sly Fox, what'd you think of that original launch trailer? Any comment? I think the creator should learn to play the game first. <laughs> learn to play the so. Uh, Expand upon that. Learn to play the game. How, how, do, how do they not know how to play the game? Well, I mean, he created it, and, you know, he's trying to kill shit, and he has to focus in on it before he even takes a shot. I mean, come on now. <laughs> yeah, I mean, the creator, you know, you'd think for a creator, he would know where everything is, so he should look like a boss, you know, trying to get past that one part. But, you know, it's whatever. It's it's probably a lot harder to play the game than it is to develop it. I, I don't know. I'm personally not a game designer, nor have I ever taken any game designing classes. Oh, I get it. You're talking about the dub that played at E3, the uh, live game. Yes, that was actually highly horrible. Let's 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 go ahead and dive in more than that. We saw a little bit of the weapons. Um, your impression of the sniper rifle that appeared to be able to shoot the concrete. You guys in favor of that or yay nay? Honestly, I think Black Ops 2 is going to end up like Modern Warfare 3. You're going to have a bunch of whiny-ass kids playing the game, and they're just going to bitch and moan. And then you're going to have your no-lives that whine and bitch about how it's unfair when they're using guns that are just as cheap and just as unfair as any, you know, like any Call of Duty. All guns have their own perks and have their own little thing that makes it unfair uh, against of what you're playing. And when it comes to seeing through brick walls and being able to charge up a, a bullet in order to pierce through the concrete people are going to complain and they're going to dim it down or they're just going to make it three times worse like they did with modern warfare 3 but that's just my personal opinion uh well i think it's kind of cool something unique and different but yeah there's going to be a lot of complaining so i don't really think either way it's going to last very long yeah, and that could be something that's only in the single player mode, of course, as well. But um, all in all, futuristic. Uh, I know that they went a different route. Some people are liking it. Apparently, Yoakum's really liking it. Um, personally, I, I'm a Battlefield 3 player. Everyone who knows me knows I'm a Battlefield 3 player. Uh, I'm sorry for saying it. I do play Call of Duty. Both games have their place. Um, definitely, as you can tell by the gameplay, that's probably being ran during this video i'm a battlefield 3 player um battlefield 3 did came up did come out with a futuristic uh battlefield uh quite recently i'm gonna say probably within the last seven to eight years um uh, do you feel that it's 
fair for Battlefield 3 um, elitist players to say that Call of Duty is copying in that way? Honestly, I think, you know, I, I tend to stick with the philosophy of you do you and I do me. I mean, Battlefield 3 and Call of Duty are two separate and completely different games. Uh, and I'm willing to bet, I honestly don't know because I play the games. I could give two shits about the history of how it was developed or even the process of how it's developed. But, I mean, I would, willing to bet, I would take the wild guess that they are run, ran on two separate engines. And I, pl I personally played Battlefield 3 and I've played, like I said, I've played Call of Duty. <laughs> and you know it's I prefer Call of Duty I mean I hate the fact that um, especially on the computer I played Battlefield 3 on the computer but I'm personally an Xbox 360 guy and all people do is just sit there and, and camp and uh, well basically no different than Call of Duty the only difference is you get hit by one or two bullets and there's a huge lag difference because the lobbies are just so huge and I've never tried Battlefield 3 online when it comes to 360 so I don't know how much different it is from the PC but you know I, I gave it a shot I tried and I've played it um, quite a few times and I still stick with Call of Duty I've given it a try I've even I haven't played the campaign yet I'm willing to give that a shot but when it comes to online I'm definitely a Call of Duty fan for sure uh, what do you think about that Sly Fox pretty much took the words out of my mouth Battlefield was alright but I personally prefer Call of Duty seems better to me well I wouldn't say better. Don't you think that maybe Call of Duty is based upon a little bit faster gameplay? Um, today's gamers are almost ADHD, and it really does focus on getting into the action really, really fast. In Battlefield, there are times where I'm having to take a goddamn five-minute bus trip to get to the fucking action. When well, in Call of Duty, I can spawn in, and there's like three guys down in front of me. So I can understand why people definitely prefer it. It's definitely a different gaming style. Oh, no, I completely agree. I mean, that's one of the reasons why I didn't like it was because it just takes so damn long to get into the action. I'm a running gun guy. I mean, every now and then when people play with me in free-for-all and whatnot, it's, you know, they'll catch me in a corner every now and then, but that's only because I'm either reloading or I'm trying to think of my next tactical move. But most of the time, I'm just running around the map like a complete idiot, and that's one of the reasons why my KD is not always that good. But that's just the way I play. I, I want to get straight to the action. I want to be right there. I want to fire that first bullet. And, you know, that's just how I play in Battlefield 3. just doesn't compensate that that emotional feel that I seek. Okay. Well, let's go. Bottom line, before we finish this video, before it gets too long, uh, Commander, looking forward to Black Ops 2, and what is the one thing you hope that's going to be in this game? You have to pick one thing. Well, um, one thing I'm hoping that will be in this game is... I would honestly have to say some of the older weapons from like Modern Warfare 1 and 2, but a little bit revamped, give it that futuristic look. Like they've already done with one of the game with one of the guns. If you've if you've seen the trailer, and I'm not trying to put any spoils out there, but one of the main guns you see is an assault rifle that kind of looks like a mix of what did I what did I say again? Um, lost was it an MP5 mixed with the MK14 type uh, barrel? Was that I it? believe so. Yeah, I mean, it, it had a feel. It had a nice feel to it. It looked like an MK14, and it had another gun look to it, and it just, it just looked super revamped. I, I was just loving it. You were definitely excited when you see it. All right, Sly, are, are you, are you happy to see the game? And what's the one thing you're hoping's in this one? Give it to me straight. I really want to see that sniper so I can see through that concrete, because I think that's going to be pretty boss. That's a corner camper for you, folks. Anyway, that's uh, our video. Uh, let us know if you guys like it. You know, hit the like button, comment, subscribe, all that fun shit. Once again, thank you, Sly Fox, and thank you, Commander Yoakum, for joining me. This has been another OTL slash So Entertain Me slash I Don't Really Give a Shit production. Have a good day, guys.